If you take one thing away from today, let it be this. There's a little guy inside of all of us. Okay, hold on, <laughs> don't leave. Hi, I'm Kathleen, and last week we talked about how to hear, I love your outfit, every day. At the end of the video, I talked about how I can't stop myself from saying, thanks, I thrifted it, because I'm just so jazzed about the fact that I thrifted it anytime anyone gives me that compliment. And I was super floored to see how many of y'all did the same thing in the comments. But it also got me thinking, uh oh. Specifically, it got me thinking about how society views secondhand clothing now versus how it's viewed it in decades past, maybe a little less favorably. So today, we're gonna ask the question, why is thrifting cool now? And what does it mean for personal style and specifically you moving forward? We're also gonna touch on what do we do when it's not cool anymore? Let's dive in. <music> Let me lay down my experience of thrifting when I was a kid and see if you can relate. At that point in my life, I wasn't trying to find things that helped me express myself. What I was trying to do was desperately find anything that would help me blend in with the cool kids, as, as sad as that is. I was specifically looking for things that did not look thrifted or secondhand. I remember I hunted for that little Abercrombie mousse like there was no tomorrow. I did end up finding one lime green polo from Abercrombie and I wore that thing to shreds because in my young mind it would help me pass under the scrutinizing gaze of my peers without drawing judgment and thinking back to it that makes me really sad for little Kathleen pour one out for that little homie but this story has a good ending because luckily I started to experiment with different styles at the thrift store and eventually I began to appreciate the absolute gold mine that it was and here we are I'm a loud and proud thrift goblin, hallelujah. And I see in my comments from y'all saying that thrifting wasn't cool when you were growing up either and that you did it out of necessity. Seems like it's been a bit of a universal experience regardless of the decade that you grew up in. Fast forward to now though, now it's cool to have a patchwork style that includes pieces that interest you and have a distinctly thrifted or vintage flavor to them. And I think that's great, honestly. Maybe it's my rose colored glasses talking, but it seems like we're shifting away from wanting to blend in and shifting towards exercises and self-expression. We love it. So what happened? Why is thrifting cool now? And I mean, why is it capital C cool in society's eyes? I have some thoughts. I talked a little bit about this in my predicting 2023 trends video, but you could say that there's been a shift towards statement pieces and individually curated styles. Think the core aesthetics that have playfulness and uniqueness baked in, especially after we've been force fed homogenous fast fashion for a while now. I think it's a natural course correction. Also, society, specifically younger folks in this here society, are putting bigger focus on sustainability, thank goodness. So secondhand clothing is losing its stigma. Thumbs up to that. Speaking of society, with a capital S, when the mainstream shines its all-knowing spotlight on something, there will always be discourse with a capital D. There's the conversation of swapping our problematic overconsumption of fast fashion over to secondhand shopping. There's the extremely nuanced and tangly conversation about reselling secondhand clothing. The list goes on. And today, I'm not talking about any of that. Today, what I really wanna dig into is the shift from gauche to glamour and how it affects personal style and creativity for us. What it means for people who wanna explore personal expression in a more sustainable way. Talking more about this shift, one of the clear the first ways that you can tell an idea is becoming more accepted is when mainstream styles or aesthetics start to form around them. For example, where style influencing used to look a lot more like this, very polished, tagging brands for every single piece of clothing, there's now a new influx of styling that looks more like this, where you wouldn't be able to tell the brand just by looking at it, or the decade really, and it exudes this easygoing, I'm wearing this because I love it and I feel good in it kind of vibe. A very chill attitude, great. Cool. But that also means retailers, including fast fashion retailers, take notice of this shift, of the attention that thrifted and vintage pieces are getting in the mainstream, and they see dollar signs. They begin to produce brand new garments that 
look thrifted. It, it really is truly a strange phenomenon. I noticed this most starkly when I was chatting with my friend Lisa. Miss Lisa says ga to be specific. For context, this video that you're watching right now was going to be completely different, a totally different topic. I was going to peruse popular retailers for items that I liked and then try to recreate them or find something similar at the thrift store. So as I scrolled on Lisa says ga, I couldn't help but notice that everything looks thrifted. How strange. Kelsey, please. Whether it had a vintage flair to it or kind of had a DIY vibe going for it, I kept looking at them and I kept thinking, I literally have that and I thrifted it for four dollars. And please don't misunderstand me, this is not me punching down on Lisa Says Ga. I really like how they feature small indie designers, and I clearly like their merchandising because my closet is very similar to the things that they make, but it is definitely a concrete example of fashion, with a capital F, reacting to shifts in society. And, you guessed it, profiting off of it. This price? Hello? Again, I'm not punching down, this is literally business. This is what businesses do. They react to try and make more money. But there is a whole conversation about the market commodifying and emulating a style that has historically been looked down upon for profit. Another very nuanced spider web that we are not diving into today. So let's get back on track and focus on the point of all of this. What I really want to talk about is you. Here's the golden nugget from this video. If you take one thing away from today, let it be this. There's a little guy inside of all of us. Okay, hold on, <laughs> don't leave. This little internal creative goblin wants to express their interests and their creativity to the world. And one way to do that is how we choose to style our visual look. That's personal style, simple as that. But with this idea of sustainable and creative personal style in the form of thrifting becoming more widely accepted, there's never been a better time to explore what brings us validation and joy through expression. I'm planning a whole video about finding your personal style, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it right now, but just know that now is the time to try some wacky stuff and just have a good time. The catch is that the inevitable churn of trends means that this thrifted look will be swallowed up by other trends, but, and it's a big old but, that doesn't matter. So let's capitalize. Use this moment, this current celebration of expressive style, use it as an excuse to step off the trend hamster wheel. <sighs> and now we can breathe. We can really inspect what makes us tick, what excites us as far as style and expression goes, and we can play in the space. Let's Let's play in this little hamster cage together. Look, there's a little hamster jungle gym. I've always wanted to play in one of those. And this isn't to say that trends are bad or mainstream style is stupid or you're a sheep if you wear sambas. No, I like sambas. I just think that maybe we could pull back a little bit and view trends from a distance and integrate them if it feels interesting instead of being beholden to them lest we perish. You know what I mean? So let's open up the conversation. I'm curious. Have you noticed this thriftification of mainstream fashion? Do you have any tips about finding your unique personal style in a more sustainable way? And what trends are you digging and which ones do you stay far, far away from? Let me know down in the comments. If you've enjoyed chatting this week, then please feel free to subscribe. I post a new video every week. And speaking of subscribing, we just hit 30,000 subscribers. That is just so wonderfully stinky, just like you with a capital S. Also, if you want to keep up with me during the week, you can follow me over on Instagram at Kathleen Illustrated. And if you liked this style of styly video, then feel free to check out one that dives into things at a slightly different angle. Or you could check out my thrifting playlist if you want a slight change of scenery. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you take care this week. And uh, here's a kiss. Okay, that was five kisses. Bye. Bye.